was the I left and we we'd meet all day until about 10 o'clock at night when it came in we met two hours and I had a bad feeling about it then but uh, it's get, it's gotten worse since then I build fence, I keep cutting out a strand every time as I go. If I build another 10 years worth of fence, it won't be any fence. Ever. You know, the amazing part about your fence building is every time I come by there, there's somebody standing there talking to you. So, how much fence do you really He's kind of like V-Dot. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Troy used to come down and work a couple hours on the weekend helping me on bill fence and stuff. But I got his telephone number. But he was a real county administrator. He wasn't one of these Johnny come lately's or something, you know. Well, that's good. Did he help you any Rex? Yeah. Me and Joe both. <laughs> Robbie, it's time for you to get a new set of bifocals or yeah. something when you get three inches from the screen. We got about four minutes, unless somebody wants to go early. We can't go early. Can't go early so I guess we can't. I've got this will change the time. <laughs> I've got Salel set up to uh, put his uh, cattle close by as he goes home. So, and I'm gonna put a dusted on light down. Six fifty eight by my atomic calendar. No, we keep him in as county administrator. He don't want to feed cows in the dark. Have two clocks and they never stayed. They never the stayed the same time. We finally got down the one. I didn't get much fencing done because the jets kept flying through there at the top of the mountain, and I stood up when the handle was hard. Did you get a call about going to be doing trimming power lines with a helicopter? No, mm -hmm. they usually do. Just yeah, but they, they're, 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 I got a call today. It says that they was going to be doing it. And I didn't know if you where all I've areas they're going to do it. I've at. seen they about doing it with my place. I reckon they've been doing it the last several years. I get every time. What was that thing? It was um, where they used one of them knocked down on somebody. I think it was uh, 007 or something. Somebody dropped one of them things through the ceiling. Did, now, oh, did one of y'all send me an email or something that said we weren't in as bad or financial shape as you thought? I probably sent something silly like that. I didn't see it. I ain't seen it either. <laughs> it cost me to get all messed up. It's not April's full either. Yeah, no. It's Halloween. It was a Halloween joke. That's what it was. Call us meeting to order. Get this thing on my darn computer, it keeps popping up. Oh, 
right. Robert, would you do the pledge and invocation, please? Yes, if you want me to. Yep. Let's all rise. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've provided for us and for the many blessings you've passed down upon us. Lord, we ask you to watch over us in this assembly as we participate in this meeting. We ask that you help us conduct it in peace and harmony. Lord, we ask that you lead, guide, and direct us and bring us back at our appointed time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. down to uh, payment and invoices. Do I have a motion to uh, approve the payment and in invoices? I make a motion that we approve the invoices as presented. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I uh, second. Any discussion? Uh, we got two or three dollars above the uh, bills here, right? Yes. Okay. That's a good point, Bob. You know, I, it's good I to check to see if we got money in the bank. I just hate to see one bounce, you know. <laughs> well, I think he's been kind of keeping them in wherever. All right, have a motion in the second. Start with you, Joe. Yes. Philip. Yes. Bob. Yes. 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 Robbie. Yes. I say yes. Do I have a motion to approve the? Uh, Minutes from the joint meeting. I'll move with approve the minutes for you want both of them or just one at a time. Either way you want your motion wants to be. I'm move that we approve the minutes of October seventh, the joint meeting and October fifteenth, the regular meeting. Second. Motion and a second. In discussion. Start with you, Bob. Yes. Doctor Little. Yes. Robbie. Yes. Joe? Yes. Philip? Yes. I say yes. All right. Consent calendar. To have a motion to approve the cons consent calendar. I think this uh, is the one that you wanted to remove. If you would, remove the men's appropriations. All right. Do I have a motion to that extent? I make a motion that we amend the consent calendar to remove the appropriation request. All right, there's a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Motion and a second in discussion. I think what we we need to discuss that. Yeah. Mention that or not. Do we need to vote on it or do we want to discuss well, it first? I, to, I, I would discuss it. Yeah. Yeah. If you like, I'll, I'll go over the record. There's four items uh, on the preparation for the school board. The BPSA debt financing, refinancing credit, which is 59-119-12, National School Lunch Equipment Grant, School Security Officer Grant, and the STEM competition team grant. I request and recommend that you approve the $50,000, $70,000, $5,000 items. That excludes the VPSA amount, which is essentially, uh, we pay the debt and that's the, re we get a refund on interest. Is that correct? Yes. So the really, rather than that going to school, since we pay the debt, that should go to us. Be my opinion. And I think that's what uh, Mr. Dalton is recommending. Since we pulled that out, do we need to go ahead and approve what's <coughs> in there and then come back and, re and vote on this again? Or? I would <coughs> recommend that you vote on the 50, 70, and $5,000 grant. Okay. Because that's what the amendments and so it's three items then. Three items. Do I have a motion to that extent? 
I think I need to withdraw a motion, don't we? Because we made a motion on approving it, or you made a motion to withdraw it from the consent. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. I got you now. I'll make a motion that we approve the National Lunch, School Lunch Equipment Grant, the School Security Officer Grant, and the STEM Competition Grant, and withdraw the debt refinancing credit to remain with the General County. And to amend and appropriate one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah. All right, I have a motion. Do I have a second? I have a second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? <coughs> hmm. All right, I'll uh, call for the question. I'll start with you, Joe. Yes. Philip? Yes. Bob? Yes. Dr. Little? Yes. Robbie? Yes. I say yes. All right, now let's go back. Uh, do I have a motion to approve the consent calendar? Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the consent uh, calendar. A motion to have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All right, start with you, Bob. Yes. Dr. Littrell? Yes. Robbie? Yes. Joe? Yes. Phil? Yes. I say yes. <clears throat> All right, down to the billing official. Uh, on July 7, 2015, uh, Harry appointed and did something that made Mr. Timothy Carpenter as Carroll County Building Commission, but you didn't take appropriate board action so that can be no BHCB can be notified of him being the building official. With County, we'd ask uh, name Mr. Timothy Carpenter is the Wood County Building Commission. All right, that's the recommendation. Did, is it 15 or should that be 19? Was that, didn't he become off uh, a building uh, official? 15 is the proper date. Right? Okay. Uh, you should have done this a long time ago. Okay. You, you said to, to uh, name him as the with County Building Food or Carroll County. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. I fall at a table now. Well, I was beginning to think I didn't hear that, but I don't know, maybe I don't. I'll take their money <laughs> for I'll their financial go. situation. I'll get under the table and y'all can give me my 40 lashes. <laughs> You're forgiven this time and just stay on in the job. You know. I hate to admit this, but uh, you know, some days I answer the phone that way, so. I make a motion that we approve the building official's appointment. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Start with you, Joe. Yes. Phil? Yes. Bob? Yes. Dr. Littrell? Yes. Robbie? Yes. I vote yes. Yeah, where does that bring me to? I, I got lost here all of a sudden. all these papers and covered up my agenda. All right, any other business? N any other new business? Um, I've got something, but it, 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 we're not going to do supervisor's time, I don't suppose. No. Nope. All right. Uh, it has come to my attention that there's a high-speed internet that has been that is run that runs down route 100 and has been there for some time and is and i believe it's citizens citizens telephone that that's not citizens out of floyd it is. it is it is okay uh well I, I would recommend that we get in touch with those folks and uh, see what it, see if it's possibility 
as some people on Route 100 could uh, uh, tap into that. Is there a question? Yes. You have to have providers before you tap into it. Right? That service. Only if they're okay, we're, we're, um, providing service would require them to expand into public right away that they don't already have a, don't already have a right to be in. So it may be a good request. I think what Bob's talking about is you come down 100, there's a couple of subdivisions and some roads. Yeah, I just well, yeah. I, I mean, if I mean, I think it's worth engaging with them to see if there is interest, and if so, if we can take the necessary steps to do it. Now, it it runs the length of one hundred, and does it go into Pulaski County? It, Gets to Patterson, turns left, and goes up Castleton Road over to Route 52. It comes out of the old uh, if the quarry down there, the, the one that's been closed. Okay. And it goes up north on 52, all the way into Max Meadows and over to the Progress Park. Is With County hooked into it or anything? Uh, they actually run a uh, cable TV telephone. They offer one of those full service things. Right. You bundle it to about half of the county. Well, I just, I'd like to, if you would approach them, Soleil. And well, it's, it's my understanding that Red Hill Country Store use it, utilizes their service already. I had I was happy. Yeah. Now I may have been given the wrong information, but that's what I was told the other day. Because there's a if, if you've noticed there's a a station or a right beside a red hill, there's that and I think that's prefabricated buildings. Yeah, I think that's citizens if my if what I, the information I was get, gave and give was correct. But but then the sis they they're in some other counties, though, and I don't mean Floyd and Christiansburg. Yeah. They're over in Montgomery County. They actually have an office, I believe, in North Carolina. Once upon a time, they had a loop that went through Galax, Grayson, and Independence, and back down through Sparta. And I don't know exactly the details, but for some reason, they wouldn't let anybody tap into it. It was like they needed that circle mm -hmm. yeah. just for redundancy for their other operations or something. And I was also, uh, someone said that they, they go over to Hallett Street, as far as Hallett Street on 221, and turn up to that cell tower. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. So. Uh, we'll, we'll invite them over, and if any of y'all want to attend that meeting. I would, I'd like to, if okay. possible. I do know Red Hill, Red Hill does have an online presence. They have a huge, uh, huge online presence, so they would probably need it. So, but anyway. Well, uh, I mean, it, it could potentially be a huge service. Uh, I, it's the first I've heard of it. It's worth checking out. Yeah. We will follow through with that. On an another item of business, sent out an email for, to uh, see what days would be good for a, a, a budget a budget work session and we had th November 21st and 22nd which would be a Thursday and Friday I've had two people respond and said they'd like to have it on the 21st what do you want y'all's November 21st yep that's, uh, that's the Thursday after our normal November meeting, which would be a budget work session. We've got to look at what we need to do with the budget since we know it's not going to. 21st and 22nd. Yeah, which one? 
we got two people who's already said they want it on the 21st. All right, it didn't matter to me, so I can go for the yeah. 21st. Either one for the family. All right. Dr. Littles, 21st fine with you. What time are you planning on planning doing? Uh, what time y'all prefer? Well, I'd prefer to have to work myself. Oh, that's me. Six. Yeah. <clears throat> no, six be okay. All right. <clears throat> There's a possibility, however, I may have a District 3 meeting that night. I think I do. Yeah, I they meet every other third Thursday, and I think that's the third Thursday that we meet because we didn't meet this. That's the third Thursday. That's the planning commission. I ain't thought about that, but they don't, I don't care. Run them out. <laughs> <sighs> Would y'all prefer to do it on the twenty second? That's a Friday evening. I'm willing to meet. Any well, time. you can proceed without me, but I do, I do have that obligation mm -hmm. on the twenty first. <clears throat> I don't know about the 22nd. I don't know if I can make that work. And I'm not sure there's been an alternate for me yet either. I don't know. Six. Well, let's set it for November 21st at six. That works with everybody. Okay. Finally. If you can't make it, can't make it. But it's, we'll be discussing. If you got any ideas about. What you should suggest we should do with the budget? How long do we get this way that have that going on? Probably like a, max a couple hours. Would you consider doing it after the regular meeting and just continue that on? I don't have an issue with it. That's, I don't have an that, issue that with that. That would meeting. be a it's probably gonna be a long night. That's the only meeting we have that month. It's up to y'all. I'm good with anything. Just I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll try to do anything, too. Does that work? The 18th work after a regular meeting? Do it? Yeah. Kind of get it all done at one time. Yeah. November 18th. Does that work for you, Mr. Dalton? <laughs> Chris will go feed you cows, and, uh, and I'll take a block of salt during the day sometime for you. It's a long meeting, November the 18th. Okay. Let, me, let me ask a question. If, if our uh, closed session was short, could we come out and go into work session, then at 6 o'clock go into a regular meeting, and then go back out into a work session? Later that evening. So have a short closed session. Uh, yeah, if if we have if a short closed session, let's say if we come out at five and we come in go into a uh, work session, then stop at six and go into a regular meeting. You can do that. All right. Uh, is there any special thing that we would need to do? Vote to um, tentatively set it or what time you think you might Absolutely. So if you tend to schedule your work session to begin at 5. And if it was late starting, that's fine. So I'm just getting started early. I don't know what it takes with your rules of procedure. Why not just continue the work session until 7 and then start your regular meeting at 7? Let's just advertise it and have the work session so you don't break the continuity of where you were at. That works for me. It works for me. So we, we, I guess we need to vote on that. All right. Do I have a motion to that extent? To change the meeting, the regular meeting to seven. Is that what you're asking? We would still open it and start it at regular time at four thirty. But but advertise it at seven instead of six. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Have your work session. At until that I'll make a second. All right, got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All right, start with you, Bob. Yes. Dr. Little. Yes. Robbie. Yes. Joe. Yes. Philip. Yes. I say yes. Sharpen up the scissors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will Will we meet with the school board anytime? 
do we need to? Are you asking for us to try to set up a joint meeting? Or well, that, that is a large part of our budget, so. Of course, you, you talked about meeting with them about uh, county budgets and expenses. Well, let's see how it comes out of the work session. Okay. Okay, that'd be good. And so now I'm looking at this as not necessarily preparing for next year. It's to try to this see year. where we are this year. Yeah. And then uh, we can either in November or January, we could do that yeah. as well because we got to get right on that as well. I may not be able to make the January and February meeting, but uh, I'll try. A few of us might not make it. <laughs> well, yeah, there's, you got a big write in opposition, don't you? Yep. All right. Got a motion on carried. That brings us down to old business. I guess we already know. All right, hearing that, I'll move on forward, but we've already set the time for the work session. I've kind of jumped the gun on that one. Got the cart before the horse. Huh? Got the cart before the horse. Yep, that's not unusual for me. Any other business someone would like to bring forward? I'm having a senior moment, but did we vote on that last motion? Yes, we did. Okay. <laughs> Some reason that yeah, I wasn't sure either. Issue. I sent you out by email. It's a closed session issue. Talk to the county attorney to brief us about a legal matter. We'll be looking for um, a motion to have a closed session under Virginia Code Section 2.2-3711. Tonight. 7 and 8. Consultation with legal counsel. Um, regarding a specific legal matter and consultation with legal counsel regarding pending or threatening litigation. And in general, that would be regarding um, the scope of coverage for certain DRM, the Virginia Risk and Corp policies. And um, I'd like to give the board a brief um, update on the status of uh, the pending OPA litigation. Uh, do I have a motion reflecting that recommendation? I move that we go into executive session pursuant to the areas that our uh, attorney Steve has recommended. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Start with you, Joe. Yes. Philip? Yes. Bob? Yes. Dr. Mitchell? Yes. Uh, Robbie? Yes. I say yes. This is bad when you're carrying 20 pounds of uh, legal stuff in there. Go um, right ahead. Where's your horse at when you got your boots on? I don't know that you and I have been introduced. I am Bonnie Webb. I'm Joe's wife. Oh, okay. Yeah. And who were you before you got married? <clears throat> I was Bonnie Dwyer. Dwyer. Did you ever know Jim Dwyer? I did. Actually, I think we met years and years and years and probably when I was a teenager. Really? Now, yeah. do you know Karen Slate? I do. Okay, is she akin to you? Yeah, she's kin. See, she and I went to school together. She was a doll. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now, did she come up in the world to become a slate or did she go down?
<laughs> oh. Just pick something and run for it. <laughs> Somehow I don't think somebody putting the right in a week before the election is going to be very helpful. Yeah, well, well, I wish I'd have thought before. You know he was the only campaign contributor. Is? He he wanted yeah, to talk about. Uh, he wanted to talk about uh, what was the, the fluoride. Yeah, fluoride. Yeah, so back on fluoride. I wish I'd have brought that up somewhere else, but I didn't. But well, there's more money in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they've always said that as to the most fluoride, I think, is trying to put themselves This will be the 18th when we yep. mm -hmm. are going to have this meeting. By the way, Vaughn uh, Gwynn. Funeral home has got a deal where they discount if you want to pay for it, services ahead of time. Ask them questions. Would like to be in the night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do I have a motion to come back in from closed session, Mr. Chairman? I move that uh, we come into regular session from ex uh, uh, executive closed session. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Start with you, Bob. Yes. Dr. Little? Yes. Robbie? Yes. Joe? Yes. Phillip? Yes. I say yes. All right. Do I have a motion to certify? Mr. Chairman, I move that we certify executive session. Do you want to discuss? Items that were mentioned by uh, County Health. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me rephrase this. Sorry. Whereas the Carroll County Board of Supervisors convened a closed session this day pursuant to an, an affirmative recorded vote and only motion to close the meeting in accordance with the Virginia Freedom of Information Act. Whereas section 2.2-3711D of the Code of Virginia requires a certification by the Board of Supervisors that such closed session was conducted in conformity with Virginia law. Now, therefore be it resolved that the Carroll County Board of Supervisors hereby certifies that to the best of each member's knowledge, only public business matters lawfully exempted from open meeting requirements under the Virginia Freedom of Information Act were heard, discussed, or considered in the closed sessions to which this certification applies, and only such business matters as were identified in the motion by which this closed session was convened, was were heard, discussed, or considered in a meeting to which this certification applies. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I uh, second it. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Start with you, Joe. Yes. Philip. Yes. Uh, Bob. Yes. Dr. Little. I so certify. Uh, Robbie. I so certify. I so certify. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Oh, wait a minute. What? There's one thing. Um, how many are going to Baker? I don't know. Okay. Are you going? Uh, yeah. I thought there was about three of us or something. There's two of them. Y'all two. Oh, well, sometimes so we mention that there may be public business discussed at Baker. You know, we'll be there. But. So who else is going? Dr. Little and yourself. Okay. Good. Yeah. I'll Actually, we uh, turned the form in that. You two are our voting members. Okay. Dr. Literal is the voting member. If he did, uh, trips and falls by, you're the voting member. Okay. Do we need to make that into a motion? Or you can. Uh, you'll be able to sleep at the foot of the bed because we only got the one bed. <coughs> and my feet will be in your face, but I, I don't think your feet will be in mine. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a motion to, to give... Uh, Dr. Dr. Lefter and Bob voting 
rights for the Carroll County Board of Supervisors? I have that motion. So move. I have a motion to have a second. So move. I have a motion and a second. Start with you, Bob. Are there any discussion? Excuse me. I've not been this excited since I turned 18 and registered to vote okay. uh, this authority. <laughs> uh, I, more I vote yes, though. <laughs> Dr. Littrell? Yes. Yes. Bobby? Yes. Joe? Yes. Phil? Yes. I say yes. Now I will entertain a motion for adjournment. <laughs> so move. Second. I moved it to Wythe County for the supervisors. <laughs> All right. All in favor of adjournment, say aye. 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 Three months ago, I, I told the principal that the day that I got y'all to read that certification, <laughs>